Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. We're gonna go back in time a little bit. I don't know if you remember my series, 365 Days of Art. I started this challenge for myself, I think it was last year I started it, and I did it for half a year and I was so proud of myself. Then I stopped. I did half a year, I did so well. This book is really, really thick and I've done loads and loads of work in it and I wanna finish it off. The first prompt that we're going to be doing is draw some of the items you have in your store cupboard. So I found some crisps because I'm hungry and I want some crisps, uh, some tomato puree and some oxo cubes. <laughs> so I thought I would draw those. So let's start off with the crisps so that I can open them first. <laughs> Now something that I absolutely love about this book is there's no pressure there. Like there's so many pages in this book that I, I think are, are absolutely dreadful and I'm okay with it. It's really nice that I'm okay with it. It's so stressful but with this book it's just okay for it to just be a bit rubbish. So I, I'm literally using my pen for this. I'm not even using a pencil and weirdly I didn't even have any fear because... I'm used to this book just not really being perfect and that's okay. It just kind of warms up my 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 hand and gets me going for art which I absolutely love about it. Now I watched um, this video on one of Jazza's vlogs and he is uh, currently teaching Sarah Renee Clark to draw again and obviously she's an incredible artist but she wants to learn how to go back to basics and learn how to draw and they were talking about how you've got to really like sift through the mud to find the gold and this is something that I love about this book because you're having to draw on a daily basis in this book and you're not worried about it being messy that there, there, there's something really nice about it because it really just gets you warmed up and and sometimes you, some of the pages go really, really well and there's no pressure there and it's just a lot of fun. So I, I just love that. I think there always needs to be a place, uh, whether it's just a sketchbook that you have to the side where you just, you don't care about the, the outcome. I think it's really, really good to practice that and I think that's what makes you a better artist. Now moving on to drawing your breakfast uh, using blocks of colour. I I didn't know what to do for this. I thought it was a bit of a random prompt and it didn't really give much explanation. First, I thought of toast. I like toast. I'm not really a breakfast person, but if I do have breakfast, I don't mind a piece of toast. I thought that'd be nice and simple actually. It's a nice simple shape. And then I could cut it up into squares and cut the background up into squares and then like colour them and just do like this colour block style. I repeated the colours that I used on the toast um, to match the background and then I outlined it all using a black acrylic marker and I think that really finished it off. So yeah, that went really well. Next up is create a page of cats. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw these stupid little cats. I don't, I don't even like cats to be honest. I mean, um, people might really not like me for that. In fact, I, I do like cats. My husband's made me not like cats, but I do like them. You don't have to be a dog or a cat person. I've always been a bit of both, but shh, don't tell him. Um, I'm drawing cats. <laughs> So I found a few references of like cats with different expressions and then I thought I'd add some weird little bodies to the mix because I didn't want to just do loads of faces. I thought it'd look more fun with these stupid little bodies. <laughs> so that's what I did for that one and it was quite fun actually. Next page is exploring using different materials. It, it mentions using a brush pen at different angles so that's what I did. I got my, uh, my Artex Simptap pens because uh, I really like them so I just went in rainbow order obviously and um, just had a little play and put loads of brush marks on the paper and it was fun. Now it's write down a positive phrase or a mantra. So this one got me thinking, it's funny, this came up on the same day that a memory came up on my Facebook page. It reminded me of this art class that I took four years ago now, so back in 2020. I went to this art class and I started drawing again. So the story is, back in 2008, I decided that I wanted to go back to college and do my A-levels. I wanted to do an art A-level. Art was always something that I loved. I absolutely adored doing art at school. I had a, a bit of a gap year where I did music, but I wanted to get back into 
the art. The next step is to do my A-level course. I went to this like interview thing to apply for the A-level course and the book, the sketchbook that I had was actually my second sketchbook which didn't really have a lot of art in there. My first sketchbook was the one that I did throughout my GCSE and it was absolutely jam-packed of incredible work. It was so good that my teacher actually asked to keep it so that he could use it as a demonstration for his other students. That might have helped a bunch of kids get their GCSE. So I had this bit of a trashy sketchbook with me and I hadn't really done art for a while and I took that in and basically he said I wasn't good enough to do the art course. Uh, which thinking about it now it doesn't make sense to me because I mean I had an A for my GCSE. I was obviously good enough to be able to move on to an A-level course. But he was judging it on that one book and I think he judged me unfairly. I don't think he liked me. This happens a lot in life. I think being an autistic individual as well, I think that, that it gives me an unfair advantage in an interview process. I probably wasn't myself. I was probably completely and utterly overwhelmed and he didn't like who I was. So he said I couldn't do it. I was only 18 and at that point I was traumatized i walked home crying and i went back to my partner's house and i was just like i was broken i was so so upset by it and uh, i i didn't touch art again for 12 years i didn't do any drawing i didn't do any painting i didn't want to go near it i thought i was rubbish i must be really rubbish if i can't even get onto the a level which is a normal progression from a gcse so i carried that for a very long time and throughout those years i was looking for all these different jobs to fulfill this art need i wanted to be a nail technician because i wanted to do art on nails you know but i, I really struggled with the one-on-one -on -one being with people, being autistic, I, I struggle with communication, I find it exhausting, I find it draining. That didn't work for me and I went through all these different processes where they just didn't work for me and I didn't know why and it's because my passion was right there and it was art and it's been waiting for me all this time and I'm so glad that I went to that art class and I did that drawing and I was really proud of it and I posted that online and everyone was like oh my gosh that's amazing and I was like oh right oh maybe I am good so then I kept doing it and then I started sharing my art on YouTube and you guys were like so kind to me and I was like oh oh I can do this and now it's all I want to do and someone bought my original art yesterday someone bought one of my paintings and I just it, it it blows my mind I can't believe people actually want to pay for my art so um yeah i hope that that helps you if you're in a situation if someone's put you down just shrug it off and keep going but anyway the the mantra that I, I decided to go for was if people are doubting how far you will go go so far you can't hear them anymore so just just keep persevering keep pushing through keep doing what you want to do in life like other people's judgment doesn't matter it really doesn't follow your passions Oh, I got emotional, didn't it? Right, next one is draw the weather. The weather, well, today, while I'm filming this, it is raining, like, a lot. But when I was actually drawing this, um, it was just a bit cloudy. It was all right, actually. So I've drawn some clouds in the sky. And as you can see, I got my phone out, and it says exactly what it was. It was 11 degrees Celsius. Uh, the wind was 30 mile per hour high of 12 low of seven partly cloudy it was an all right day and i did this using my artex pens and i really really like it i thought it went really really well so um yeah this was one of those little pieces of gold keep digging through the dirt as jazza said and you'll find your gold i love it anyway that is all we've got for this week i really hope you enjoyed these pages thank you so much for watching do carry on watching more videos over here and i will see you soon bye